And our next stop, my friends, is Bourbon Street. Hell yeah, I know y'all are looking forward to that one. Oh yeah, Bourbon Street. <laughs> Be like, listen, I don't care where the ghosts right. are. If AC <laughs> is there, I will go in it. <laughs> what we're going to do is talk about an interesting tale that involves true crime, murder, uh -oh. mutilation, and <laughs> jilted lovers as well. Oh, God. Now, you guys being on a date, y'all feel any type of way about that? Uh, uh, jilted lovers? Yeah. <laughs> I yes. Mean, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Both of us. <laughs> The tour guide is talking about pretty much me and Teresa's past in a way, which is kind of ironic. You know, Teresa and her jilted lover, he's talking about ghosts, and I got ghosted. Teresa and I are both trying to get the jilted lovers and the ghosts behind us, but maybe they'll stay in New Orleans. <laughs> We're gonna pause right in front of this building. Of October 26th of the year 1926, there's an argument coming out of this apartment. And the next morning, a housekeeper of that apartment enters inside, and as she does so, well, they would find a trunk. Opening up these trunks to find a dismembered and mutilated body. The tour guide, wow, he, he, he's, oh man, I can't even say it. Um, he's over here, um, super energetic, but it's a little awkward, too. <laughs> Chopped up professionally, because he was a butcher. But in the last moment, like a man possessed, he grabs that shirt, can I chop, chop, chop? Wow. Yeah. You're not a butcher, are you? No, no butcher here. <laughs> just making sure, just making sure. Yeah, I promise not to stab you with a sugar cane. <laughs> That's a good one.